Hi, my name is Dr. Matt Burton, and I'm a general dentist just south of Chicago, Illinois. I graduated from the University of Illinois Chicago College of Dentistry in 2008, and I'm a general practitioner and worked mostly in restorative dentistry in my office. Got into product innovation about eight years ago in redesigning wedges and matrix systems, and hooked up with Garrison about three years ago and started to develop revolutionary matrix system products that hopefully changes the way we do things. So where did the quad matrix, where was it born? The very first origins of this were at a trade show in Las Vegas, actually, it was SmileCon. My first seminar, I guess, teaching opportunity at this SmileCon, and little did I know that Tom Garrison was in the crowd. And fast forwards a few months later, he introduces himself to me at the Chicago Midwinter, and we just started chatting. And so that conversation kept going, kept going, and we kept kind of bouncing ideas off of each other. And then a few years later, we are here now with this amazing new system. Development started eight years ago. And what's really cool about this system is it's kind of a rework or a rethink of the individual components of a matrix system, the wedge, the matrix, the ring. And so a lot of this work started with kind of redefining the roles of these individual components and ultimately figuring out their weaknesses and identifying what they were good at and then allowing the whole system to work as a unit. So the wedge can work with the ring, which can work with the matrix band. And when you have all the components working together, then it puts the dentist in the position to succeed over and over and over again, more predictably and ultimately more efficiently. The evolution of what we know now is the quad matrix. It came from a, an, an area of necessity, right? Or it had its origins in necessity. So when I was practicing, the white filling demand was increasing rapidly. The types of restorations that I was having to do were, were evolving and changing, and I would run into consistent issues. And there was one particular week and ultimately one particular day that I had two restorations on lower bicuspids and I could not get them to wedge properly. I could not get a contact. I spent like 45 to an hour finishing and polishing when I was done and I went home frustrated. And it was that night that I woke up with the idea for a new wedge concept that what if the wedge could do something different? What if it could behave differently? And ultimately what I came up with was the ability of the wedge to split. And I still have that drawing in that I've made on my kitchen counter at like four in the morning. So I was so excited that I drove to the office immediately and just dumped out all the wedges that we had and started figuring out how I could prototype this and just start to utilize it in my office. I never had any intentions on, on developing or doing anything. I just wanted a better way to do it. And so I found wave wedges or like polypropylene wedges and I took 15 and 12 scalpel blade and slit them down the middle. And so that was the very first split wedge. So I started using that in the office and noticed immediately that there was a change in my restoration outcome and gingival margin seals and ease of wedge placement and all of these things. And so that kind of went on for a little while. and then then one day by accident, I thought, well, what if, and I was only using those for specific restorations, right? So far, kind of for like the trickier ones. And then I started to use it more and more. And then I thought, well, what if the ring could actually engage that split wedge? And so I started using like Paleodent Triodent rings that I had at my office and some Garrison rings too, 3DXRs and splitting the wedge. And then I noticed that there was a definitive change in, in outcome and predictability and just overall force workflow. And so it went from the change to the wedge to figuring out it could work with the ring to designing a system that was made to do just that and mesh the two. Okay, so let's take our first look at the quad matrix system. This is the professional kit and inside the professional kit, you're going to have your ring wedge matrix container. And then we have our ring forceps, our matrix pliers, and a composite instrument, a composite placing instrument that's there. And so within the meat and potatoes, which is the ring matrix wedge component here, in the professional kit, you're going to have four rings 
Okay, so you're gonna have two universal and two large or tall. You're gonna have two different styles of matrix bands. You're gonna have a firm matrix band, and you're also going to have the fusion matrix bands. And we'll describe later what this is for, but it, what we've ultimately figured out is that it's nice to have different options for different scenarios because this system is designed that puts you in a successful position in many different scenarios. And so different matrix bands can help you with that. And then we have the quad wedges here in four different sizes as well. The way that I would summarize the quad matrix is that it's an evolving product for an evolving demand. So when we first started doing composite restorations, they were this much of what we did. And then now they're almost everything that we do. And the types of restorations, the size of restorations, the location of these restorations, we're placing them subgingival. They're wider than they've ever been. So the demand that we're put into and the demand that we're placing on our restorations needs to be balanced with the tools that are meeting that demand. And so this product came from a true origin of necessity. And when you have that, then you have a really organic evolution and process and drive for development and success. And that's what the foundation of this whole system is about.